this year i lost 80% of my mind and i would be lying if i didn't admit that it was quite liberating the fear of judgment is a universal phenomena that transcends age and affects people through all walks of life while i can attest to the fact that teenagers ex- experience it adults too grapple with this fear throughout their lives today i ask you how many of you here have forgone things you love just because you fear being judged judgments and opinions are usually blurted out by all of us just because we have the freedom to speak and now in our digital era to post on social media social media acts as both a blessing and a curse while it increases connectivity throughout the world studies have shown that there is a direct correlation between amount of time spent on social media and heightened level of social anxiety almost all of us here are part of the fantasy land of the perfectly curated wonderlands of social media aren't we applications such as tiktok twitter and instagram have become s- such an integral part of our lives that we spent over 864 hours a year scrolling through these applications teenagers or gen z spend up to 4 hours daily scrolling through these applications just to get a glimpse of what others are doing and how they are missing out which leads to them having fomo the fear of missing out recently i asked myself why do we individuals surrender to the oppressive grip of judgment let's take one such example of a teenager bombarded with polished images on her instagram feed the daily facade of perfection on social media amplifies her social anxiety pushing her to be an idealized version of herself let's talk about me when i first came to school in grade 9 after covid I felt lost. Everyone had their own friend groups while I had no one to hang out with. Which led to me opening a social media account. That's when I realized that people whom I considered to be my friends considered me to be just an acquaintance. Then I was told I was too loud, which led to me changing my entire personality, becoming the most accommodating person i still didn't fit in it just wasn't enough the mysterious mystical monster social anxiety had made me a pawn to an extent to which every interaction i had made me doubt am i good enough what will people say negative thoughts loomed over my mind until i realized that no one cared but me before moving further let me highlight that social anxiety exists independently of shyness while an individual can be shy from time to time social anxiety interferes with an individual's ability to perform daily chores or make conversation now coming back to social anxiety how do we deal with this pervasive fear Personally, techniques such as immersing myself in art or performing a dance routine were quite therapeutic and a healthy way to displace my anxiety. In art, I experimented with techniques such as abstractism, where I used colors to represent emotions, such as dull blue for somber emotions alongside white for peace and purity. dance also became something that i came to cherish because i felt in control of the steps i performed the rhythmic beauty of notes and lyrics were like sweet freedom from judgment a way to express myself i was elated when i found these techniques when more conventional methods such as journaling didn't work out for me for anyone here being suppressed by social anxiety i ask you that you spend a little time on yourself and discover what words work best for you healthy relationship with social media requires
conscious effort. We cannot let the polished images on social media and the filtered movements dominate our life anymore. This is why I took a break from social media. I deleted all these applications from my cell phone. That's when I realized that it did wonders for my mental health. It also taught me that balance is crucial. Although I still am on social media, I spent a significantly less amount of time scrolling through reels. To quote Maya Angelou, you are your best being. And no matter how crazy, disheartening or disrespectful the world can be at times, you must realize that you define your own worth and no one else.